Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing day seven of our postpartum workout challenge. Today is a short cardio blast with a full body stretch after to make our bodies feel amazing. All that you really need is a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on. However, if you do have a strap or a baby blanket or blocks, you can grab those as well. Also, don't forget at the end to go down to the comments. Let me know that you finished it. Let me know what you thought of it and what kind of challenges you want to see upcoming next. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm also going to wear shoes just for the cardio blast at the beginning, and then I'm going to take them off so I can get a deeper stretch. Why don't we, say we can start standing up. Let's bring our arms out to the side. Tiny circles here. Getting a little bit bigger. Good. And bring them back out to the side, going the other direction. Getting bigger. You bring your shoulders into it. Good, arms out to the side again. We'll windmill and you can touch your knee or your foot, keeping your core engaged, using your hamstrings and glutes to pull yourself back up again. Last one, good. We can bring our hands up and then imaginary medicine ball to me, engage your core. Last one here, good. Okay, I'm gonna set the timer for 40 seconds of cardio and five seconds set up between. We're gonna start with low impact jumping jacks or you can do regular jumping jacks so that's safe for you. Get nice and low. If you keep this up, then I'll let you in, cause you have a way with me like no one else, yeah, you almost make me fall in love, yeah, you got me hypnotized under your spell, I know I'll go home with you tonight, oh. When We're gonna lunge, punch three times, core's engaged, and then switch sides. Punching high. Awesome job, let's take it wide. Reaching down, coming up. You can jump for an extra challenge. Let's 
squeezing your thighs and glutes at the top. Awesome job. We're gonna get low, shuffle, punch, turn your hips to protect your core. The more you can move, the harder it will be. For our last cardio move, really go for it. Low and fast. Awesome job. Let's cool down, inhale. Take a water break and you can take your socks and shoes off if you'd like. want to have your blocks near you can also grab your block we'll start with a quad stretch knee reaching down towards the ground if you want to hold on to something you can let's step back into a lunge Reaching your back heel towards the ground, getting a nice calf stretch. You can also tuck your pelvis, getting a nice stretch through your psoas. Let's reach up and over. Beautiful, come on up. Let's bring our back foot in. We can move into a pyramid stretch. If you wanted to grab your blocks, you can, or you can just place your hands on your leg wherever feels comfortable. Keeping length in your spine, let's fold over our front leg. We can flex our front foot a few times. Good, one more breath here. Engaging your legs, let's come on up. We can switch to the other side. Stepping back into your lunge, stretching through your calf. your pelvis under will reach up with the same arm as leg that's back tilting to the side beautiful exhale pull yourself back up if you wanted to grab your blocks we'll move into our pyramid stretch Core is engaged, breathing into your side and back ribs. 
Shoulders are rolled down your back, away from your ears. Flexing your front foot a few times. Good. Release, exhale. Come on up. We can take our legs wide. Stretch through our groin. Feels good, you can drop one shoulder in. Switching to the other shoulder. Come on up, let's pigeon toe our feet in. And you can either clasp your elbows behind you or your hands. Let's fold forward. If it feels good, you can let your arms fall behind your head. Shifting your weight slightly forward into the balls of your feet. This time you can release your shoulders towards your ears. When you're ready, bringing your hands back in towards your body if they're over your head. Exhale, come on up. Good, we can step together. We're gonna move into downward dog, so you can come to all fours. Spread your fingers, press into a downward dog position. Let's walk out our heels here. You can center one foot, let the other foot float off. And once it reaches the top, you can bend your knee, opening up through your hip. Good. Come on down, we can switch to the other side. top leg down again. This time we can swing it through for pigeon or you can come to a seated position and do a figure four stretch, walking your back leg straight behind you, making sure you're not feeling any sensation in your knee, sitting tall and then you can release forward. Finding your breath here. Press into our hands, move back through downward dog, switching to the other side, letting the other leg float up behind. Exhale, swinging through, making sure that your back leg is straight behind you, and then tipping forward if that feels good. Deep breaths into your back body. Releasing through your hips a little bit more. When you're ready, pressing through your hands. And we'll come back to all fours this time. Let's come to a wide-legged forward fold. We can bring both feet out. We'll start with flexed feet here. We can move back and forth.
Good. Let's point our feet now and then let's walk our hands forward. Breathing here. Good, we can walk our hands in. Let's bring our feet in for butterfly. Releasing our knees out, sitting tall, and then you can bring your nose down towards your feet. Inhale, coming up. Let's come to our knees. And we can either do a modified camel here, placing your hands just on the top of your glutes and stretching back. Or if it's available, you can tuck your toes, reach for your heels, moving into camel posture. Keeping your ribs pulled in, protecting your core wherever you are. Exhale, use your core, pull yourself back up, good. If you have a strap or a baby blanket, you can grab that now. We'll just sit in a comfortable seated position. And bring your hands apart, strap between, and then you can release it down behind you just as far as feels good. It shouldn't feel painful. Keeping your ribs pulled in. You can bend one, pop one shoulder forward to stretch through the front of your arm. Switching sides. Good, you can let go with one hand and then dangle it behind, stretching through your triceps. You can press your head gently into your arm. Switch to the other side. Beautiful release. Let's come into one last child's pose. So if you're stretching out through your back, you can keep your knees closer together or you can move them wider apart, whatever feels better for you. Reaching your fingertips forward. Coming to all fours, rounding out for cat and cow. Keeping your core engaged, exhale, round, inhale, lengthen. Come to a neutral spine and we can come to our seated position. We are done. You did amazing. Really, as a mom, it is not easy to find time for yourself, especially to work out. So really be so proud of yourself. I'm so proud of you. Again, I would love to know what you think in the comments below and give me a high five for completing the challenge. Of course, I have more postpartum videos coming up as well as more challenges. Please let me know what you would like to see next and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video.